Hello and welcome to the channel. No Nigerian woman since the advent of democracy has been elected as governor in all of its 36 states, including the federal capital territory. At a point in the recently concluded general election, the hopes and aspirations of Nigeria women were pained on the whole Progressives Congress APC governorship candidate Aisha Tu Binani Dahiro, who fought a keenly but controversial battle with Amadou Fintiri, incumbent PDP governor of Adamawa State. After taking the battle to a second round, she finally succumbed to defeat when the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, announced Fintiri winner, thereby resulting in another lost opportunity for Nigerian women. Subscribe, like, share, and comment. Thank you. Adamawa why Benani's defeat is another lost opportunity for Nigerian women. The hope of having a woman elected a state governor in Nigeria was again dashed as the governorship candidate of the whole Progressives Congress APC, Aisha Tu Dahiru, was defeated in Adamawa State. Mrs. Dahiru, popularly called Binani, was unable to secure 90% of the votes cast in the supplementary election, which she needed to overtake Governor Amadou Fintiri of the People's Democratic Party, PDP. At the conclusion of the election, Mr. Fintiri polled 430,788 votes to Mrs. Dahiru's 398,788 votes. The first phase of the election was held on 18 March but declared inconclusive, leading to the supplementary election. After the 18 March election, Mrs. Dahiru trailed the incumbent governor with 31,249 votes. The supplementary election, which took place in 69 polling units via elections were cancelled, had 42,785 registered voters while the permanent voters' cards, PVCs, collected in those polling units were 36,935. It therefore meant that to overcome the deficit and win the election, Mrs. Dahiru required an almost 100% turnout and about 90% of the votes cast in the supplementary election. That did not happen. The turnout was about 50% and Mr. Fintiri secured a majority of the votes according to the Electoral Commission, INEC. At the end of the supplementary election, the incumbent won 9,337 votes, while Mrs. Dahi repolled 6,513 votes. Popularly called Binani, Mrs. Dahi symbolized the ray of hope for women in politics, especially following the outcome of the 25th February presidential and National Assembly elections, which saw women's representation in the Nigerian parliament take a nosedive, the lowest since 2003. Before Mr. Fintiri was finally declared the winner, an official had illegally declared Mrs. Dahiru the winner of the election. The Hynek Resident Electoral Commissioner in Adamawa, Udu Hari, had on Sunday announced the APC candidate as the winner of the election, while the collation of the results of the supplementary election conducted on Saturday was still in progress. The candidate went on to read an acceptance page amidst the pandemonium created by the announcement. When Hynek declared the announcement null and void, suspending the collation of the results, Binani on Monday approached the Federal High Court in Abuja seeking to stop INEC from voiding our illegal declaration as Adamawa governor elect. The court on Tuesday adjourned hearing on the suit until 26 April. Though disappointing, Binani's loss is not surprising, gender advocate Adenike Aloba said. Women filled in the February 25th outing and the win now will be a surprise. Of the 92 women who contested for the Senate in the February elections, only three won, while out of the 286 who contested for seats in the House of Representatives, only 15 have been declared winners. 
our win for Mrs. Aloba would have been a bright spot in a dark period for women in Nigerian politics and for Nigeria and its aspirations for development, especially as it concerns SDG 5. Of course, not naive to think this is the beginning of a short to come groundswell of women's representation in Nigeria's politics, but like the distant twinkling of the lighthouse spells up for a sailor, in the middle of a turbulent storm, our win would have been a beacon of hope she had dead. Subscribe, like, share, comment, and please turn the notification bell on. Thank you. Like Mrs. Aloba, Buki Shonibare noted that a Binani win would have been a history making turning point for women's political representation in the country. A far departure from the trend of female representation in political elective positions where we have had fewer women, particularly in a political party that is one of the top two, she said. Although Nigeria's North is widely seen as a conservative region that limits women's rights, including political participation, facts negate such stereotypes. In Adamawa State, women have been repeatedly elected to the National Assembly. For Lasha Debent, Binta Gaba, and Mrs. Dahiru have been federal lawmakers, and the current deputy governor of Northwestern Kaduna State is Odisa Balarabe, a woman. In the case of Mrs. Gaba, she was first elected to the House of Representatives from Kaduna State before she switched constituency to Adamawa, a rare fit. She was later elected to represent Adamawa North in the Senate. Mrs. Aloba described Mrs. Gaba as a star twinkling from the North, a region often vilified for patriarchal norms could now be providing leadership in the area of gender representation is another reason to hope. She wished the people of Adamawa gave Nigeria the opportunity to again test its readiness for female leadership. A Binani win would have shed some light on the dark, dark horizon of diversity, equity, and inclusion in Nigeria's politics and governance, Mrs. Aloba added. Binani faced strong pushback from conservative sections in Adamawa on account of her gender. Some Islamic clerics in the state reportedly warned their followers not to vote for a woman to lead them. She, however, had a few on her side who argued that Adamawa state was a secular state and as such a woman could run for public office in the state. Benani's win for Mrs. Shonibare would have been comparable to that of Kamala Harris in the U.S., which could have shown that Nigeria may be on its way to having more women brave the halls to vie for top elective political positions. Our win was particularly crucial considering that Adamawa State is in northeast Nigeria, a region that has endured over 13 years of onslaught by the BH terrorist group with a core approach of preventing girl child education and limiting women, she said. That's the news guys. Thanks for listening. Until next time. Bye.